What does the Bible say about being born again? The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse number 23, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. You see, Jesus used the words spirit and his words kind of interchangeably because he said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. And then in John chapter 3, Jesus said that you must be born again. And he goes on to describe the person that is born of the spirit and that unless you are born of the spirit you cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven and we see here in first peter chapter one that a man is born again by the word of god and then peter goes on to explain that this is the word of god that this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you he was referring to his very epistle that he was writing so therefore the scriptures are the word of God and so we see here that you must be born again I'm reminded of a certain exorcism by Bob Larson in which he was performing an exorcism on a demon possessed woman and the demon boasted to Bob Larson that the woman had not yet accepted Jesus as her personal Lord and Savior as what as the demon put it he has not yet she has not yet accepted your god referring to the christian bob larson his god jesus christ and your hour has come to an end i have a right to be here what is the right she has not accepted your god i find you to submerge and hold your tongue about it rebecca so the woman had not yet received jesus christ as her personal god lord and savior and so this is how a person is saved. Jesus said many times in the scriptures to different people, he said, your faith has saved you. And it is by the faith of a person in the very uh, person, the Godhead, and, and Jesus Christ, knowing him and accepting him as your Lord and Savior. This is how a person is saved. That is why the Bible says in Romans chapter 10, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It's very important that the person believes that Jesus is Lord, that Jesus is divine, that Jesus is equal with the Father. And this is how a person is born again. Thank you for listening to The Value of Truth. I'm Brian Price.